Having launched her career in showbiz as a baby, we're happy to report that Mary-Kate has settled down into the quiet rhythms of married mogul life, with billionaire Olivier Sarkozy. But is it really wedded bliss? Here's why their marriage is just plain weird. Olivier's half-brother is Nicolas Sarkozy, who served as president of France from 2007 to 2012, attempting to lead his nation through a world economic crisis. And then, of course, his stepbrother, Olivier, just so happens to be a prominent French investment banker. If nothing else, that combo should definitely make for some vibrant dinner conversations between stale jokes about John Stamos's hair. But nobody's touching my hair but me. When Mary-Kate and Olivier finally tied the knot in 2015, they didn't go over the top. Details are sparse, but according to Page Six, the couple reportedly kept it relatively low-key by celebrity standards, with some 50 guests attending the event, which was held in a lavish Manhattan apartment with bowls of cigarettes topping every table. A source told the tab, quote, "...everyone smoked the whole night." Guests were also reportedly stripped of their cell phones during the special day. But the craziest omission? Mary-Kate's former TV dad, Bob Saget, it wasn't invited. You tried harder than anyone to help me. Your shirt got all ripped and you got all dirty. I think you're the best dad in the whole world. Saget took the snub in stride, telling today just after the wedding took place. I'm very happy and I sent a mazel tov text. He added, I love her very much and I'm, I hope that uh, they're happy. The couple's wedding was no spur-of-the-moment event. Rumor has it Olivier was ready to race down the aisle after just 10 months of dating, but Mary-Kate supposedly slowed his role. They reportedly dated for three years, buying a $13.5 million townhouse in Manhattan before tying the knot. The insane digs included a hall of mirrors, a rooftop swimming pool, a massive garage, an artist's studio, and a private garden with a fountain. And for this couple, it was just a starter home. Curbed reported that they sold the place in 2005 14 looking for more private living quarters. But what I see is me. I see me too. The huge age difference between Mary Kate and Olivier is almost nothing compared with her twin sister Ashley Olsen and her former beau. Perhaps in an odd twist of twindom, Ashley was linked to artist Richard Sachs when she was 30 and he was 56. The twins have even been spotted on numerous double dates together with their significant others. One witness told Page Six that they spotted Ashley and Sachs, claiming, "...it looked like she was dining with her grandpa, but they were holding hands and snuggling." But it didn't last long. Ashley and Sachs reportedly split by March 2017 after five rumored months of dating. French blogs and magazines just can't get enough of this romance. Calling Olivier, quote, the little French lover, the foreign press seems determined to expose a trend for dating younger women that seems to have a long history in the Sarkozy family tree. Plus, there's the half-brother president thing. Wow, looks are important to you. But Mr. Mary Kate doesn't seem to mind the negative attention. When these two have been caught in public, it's all cuddles and kisses. And while it's easy to recoil from anyone's PDA, we're not here to judge. It's just a bit odd that a couple so seemingly intent on maintaining their privacy would be so public with their affection. Mary-Kate and sister Ashley were once constantly hounded by paparazzi, but now that she's an honest woman, Mary-Kate and her hubby have skirted the spotlight. In fact, they keep such a low profile that not even Mary-Kate's former Full House co-stars see her that often. I still can't tell them apart, so no. <laughs> After their November 2015 wedding, the newlyweds weren't seen in public together for nearly two months. A source told E! News that the reason was because Mary-Kate has a fabulous life with Olivier and they spend a lot of time in Paris where they are both very happy. She has become immersed in his world. Though Mary-Kate has been working pretty much her entire life and can certainly afford to hire some help around the house, she admitted to Netta Portes, the edit, in 2017 that she does sometimes feel the desire to be a little domestic, too. We're not saying that's a bad thing. It's just odd to hear a gal worth about $200 million talk about putting food on the table. Step out of it! Mary-Kate told the outlet, I have a husband, two stepkids, and a life. I have to go home and cook dinner. I ride horses on the weekends. You find the thing that helps you relax. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.